Hello everyone, how you doing today? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Susan Swanson. I hope you're having a fabulous day and I hope whatever's in your cup is good and strong to help you through this week. Okay, today's video is going to be about purchasing personal property on land lease. Now there are many land lease communities within the Venice, Florida area and there are many of manufactured and mobile home communities within, within the state of Florida. There's more than I think a million of them. So Florida is the number one state for manufacturing and mobile home living. Now, if this is a consideration of yours, there are many homes to choose from and all various price points. But land lease community purchasing is not the same as purchasing a home on real estate. Now, there are many real estate owned, manufactured and mobile home communities within the area of Sarasota County as well. There are some that are all age, but there are more than a there are more that are 55 plus age qualified. But you always wanna ask their offices because sometimes they do allow for um, you know somebody of a younger age as long as there's a 55 person on that lease. Okay, so there's plenty of communities to go around and there's plenty of homes to choose from. Now when you buy real estate, and whether it's a manufactured or a mobile home or it's a single family, a condo or a villa, you're gonna pay separate yearly real estate taxes when you buy real estate. You're gonna have higher closing costs you may have to join an HOA, you're gonna pay a higher sales tax, and the price of the home will be higher than a home that you're gonna find in a land lease community. Okay, now there are a few land lease communities right in Venice, and I'm gonna run these down for you. The, the community that's a 55 plus that has the lowest land rent that I'm aware of right now is the Venice Municipal Park right on Rialto and Cockrell, right on the island. They're within a mile and a half to the beautiful Gulf of Mexico, and their land rents are 325 or less. Okay, this is a very small community. They have about 189 homes. They have a clubhouse with a very nice kitchen and a little library inside of it. They have um, shuffleboard courts, and you take care of your own home and maintenance there. There's really no yards to speak of, but you're within a mile and a half to the Gulf of Mexico, and you also um, are, have a lot of walkability there because you're on the island. And from what I understand, it is not dog friendly, but I think indoor or outdoor cats are fine. Okay, then we move over to, uh, let's see, we're gonna go over to Venice Ranch, that's over off of Venice Avenue. Their land rents right now are 725 and less. Ha they have about 400 or so homes. They also have vacant pads, so if you're an RVer or you have a big motor home, you can check out Venice Ranch as well for the seasonal lot rent. Um, for that community. They have a solar heated pool and Melissa at the office tells me they are not dog friendly But you can ask and uh, the lot rents in there are going to be below 725 and Venice Ranch is a 55 plus community Okay, moving on from there. We have Ridgewood, which I think their land rents are below 800 That's a smaller community right off of business 41 and then we have the resort of Bay Indies and now Bay Indies has land rent that's gonna be over 1,100 per month come January 2021. But keep in the back of your mind, yes, those fees are exuberant. Some people just are flabbergasted when they learn from either my videos or if they visit Bay Indies, how much the land rent is there. But you've gotta remember, for one, who owns that community? Equity Lifestyle Properties does. They've been the gurus for years, since the early 70s. There's more than 1,340 homes in there. They're within two and a half miles to the beautiful Gulf of Mexico, and it is a resort loaded with amenities, including a three and a quarter mile walking path around the perimeter of the property. They're pet friendly through the whole community. You can have someone as young as 40 on the lease, as long as that other party is 55. They have tennis courts, they have pickleball, three heated pools. That you can rent the home if you're not using it yourself full time. So there's a lot of homes in there, more than 1,300 of them, and you have a lot of price points as well. You can buy a home within Bay Indies for less than $20,000, or you can go above 150. There's a lot of choices, and not one home is created equal within that community. And keep in mind, if you're gonna be on a corner lot, your land rent will be a little bit higher there as well. And now remember, if you're buying in to the resort of Bay Indies or one of their sister communities, such as Bay Lakes or Lake Village, there is an application process attached to it. 
Do not get overwhelmed. There's only a few pages to it, but they do want to know that you can afford that land rent. They want to know where you currently live. Do you rent or do you own? They're going to want to see a copy of your driver's license, so on and so forth. And I do believe there was a $50 application fee, but if you do it online and you complete it there, I think it may be free. Say hi to Cheryl for me. Hi, Cheryl. She's my go-to girl at the Bay Indies Resort. I love Cheryl. She is fantastic. And so it's a wonderful resort community if that's the style of living that you are looking for. Now moving on from there, there is Bay Lakes. Bay Lakes is a sister property to Bay Indies and it's right over it's within five minutes on Colonial. They have less than 500 homes in that community. They do have a heated pool and that's a lovely community as well. They're pet friendly in sections and their land, their land rent currently is below a thousand. Now they also have a sister property called Lake Village, which is one of my favorites. They have less than 500 homes. They have a beautiful heated pool and a hot tub and some shuffleboard courts. It's a very well-maintained community and it's in Nokomis. It's about 12 minutes from Bay Indies. It's right off of Business 41. So you're very close to Pop Sunset Grill in Nokomis. You're a hop, skip and jump from Casey Key in Nokomis Beach. You have also Pelican Alley for great cheeseburgers. And right across the way, you will find the Paradise Grill as well. So you have a lot of amenities right there. And that Lake Village community is lovely and it's 55 plus. And it is also pet friendly and renter friendly. Okay, moving up from there, you have Sarasota where you'll find Camelot Lakes. That's a 55 plus community. However, oh, I'm sorry, I take that back. It's a 45 plus community and they have pet sections and they are gated. I love the gate guy there, how you doing? He's awesome and it is a beautiful neighborhood with plenty of home choices in there as well. And the land lease will be close to that of Bay Indies. It's gonna be in the 1100 range or perhaps a little higher. Now keep in the back of your mind, Camelot Lakes is within 11 miles to the gorgeous Siesta Key Beach, but you may hear some road noise because I-75 is right there as well. So, but if you want the convenience of that, then that's, you know, that's even, that's even a bigger amenity for you then. Okay, so those are just a handful of the land lease communities within the Venice and Sarasota area. And there are more, but it would take me all day to go through those. But I want to tell you that if you purchase in a land lease community, you're going to find the home prices are going to be a lot less, sometimes as much as five times less. You will pay less closing costs. You will pay less real or you'll pay less sales tax. Uh, you can join the HOA if you want because the HOAs are voluntary. And let's see, you're going to close within two to three weeks. It's generally immediate. But keep in the back of your mind that if you're buying within a community, you will have to complete their application, pay the application fee. You will need to be approved before you purchase the home there. And the same applies if you're renting a home to an occupant, whether it's a short term, and it must be more than 30 days, by the way, or an annual, your tenant, your renter, your occupant must be approved also. No exceptions to that rule okay so keep that in the back of your mind it's an easy application process and once you purchase a home whether it's through us or you purchase through another broker you will purchase the home as personal property with them you'll go through the closing and then you will go to the resort community office whichever community you choose from and you will close on the land lease with them so it's two separate closings they're very easy it's not difficult but you'll close the personal property purchase, and then you will close and sign on the lease agreement with your community, okay? But you're not gonna pay separate real estate taxes because they roll all those in when you're living in a land lease community because it's one big piece of land separated by all of these lots and the corporate or the community owners pay the real estate taxes for that land. However, the residents, the mobile and the manufactured home owners will pay a share of that, which is rolled right in well, not Bay Indies, but some of them are rolled right into your lot rent. Bay Indies has something called a pass-on tax. So you pay the lot rent, you pay the pass-on, and then you will also pay a three-in-one bill for your water, trash, and sewer within the resort of Bay Indies. And you will also pay your Comcast cable bill, but you do get your lawn care included in the lot rent there. Okay, so just so you know, they're not all created equal. You can find a very nice manufactured mobile home below 20,000, below 40,000, below 50, or you can go above 150. Whatever you're looking for, you may find it in one of those communities. Now, there's a lot of real estate out there, and I'm telling you right now that if you're looking for real estate, you're not interested in land lease, the market in Venice, in Osprey, in Nokomis, in Inglewood, it is on fire. 
So if you've contemplated selling a home, now is definitely the time to do it. And we are more than happy to get that home listed and sold in the shortest period of time. And I'm talking within 30 days because right now there's not enough supply to meet the demand of these buyers. Now, some of the real estate gurus out there, and I've been watching them here on my YouTube, uh, they're telling us that there's going to be a real estate market crisis because of migration patterns. And what this means is people who are leaving the bigger cities, such as New York City, they're leaving Venice, California, they're moving from out west, they're moving from the northeast, they are flocking to Florida. Now we've seen this, we've heard this before, but Venice, Nokomis, South Sarasota, all the way down to Inglewood, these areas on fire. They are definitely, they're moving in and shaking. And every time I do another video, I'm just surprised at how many more red banners that say pending are added to the list. So if you're looking for real estate, now's the time to buy and now is the time to sell. There are some really great deals out there. Whether you're looking for a two bedroom, two bath home or you need something larger than a four bedroom, four bath home, they are out there. So we're happy to help you. I'm Susan Swanson. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Subscribe to my channel here if you would and send me a comment if you have any questions about the area or a manufacturer or a mobile home or about the real estate. Let me know and we are more than happy to help you. And I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're doing great. And I hope you are spending some quality time with your family and you're just enjoying these times regardless of what's going on. And I'm here to help you. I hope you know that. And in the meantime, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Stay safe and always stay aware. And I also want to say that if you're selling a home on your own, if you're for sale by owner, never show the home alone. Always have a strong, healthy friend or family member with you at all times. Safety first always. Have a great day, everybody. And I hope to hear from you soon and stay safe.